Chances are you took a lot of walks during the pandemic, but we'll bet you did not walk with the same purpose as Nick and Nick Christie and Robin Stevens. That's right. They are America's top race walkers and they are speeding their way towards spots representing Team USA this summer in Tokyo. When the pandemic slowed the world, Robin Stevens and Nick Christie kept their speed. With, you know, walking or running, you know, like the, the, the chief thing is you just need a pair of shoes and, you know, a surface to, to move on. So like that's that's really convenient for us. And I think a lot of just endurance athletes in general is that we, we can just step outside and then the world's our playground. Both Robin and Nick are multi-time national champions in race walking, a couple in real life with a shared Olympic dream of representing Team USA in Tokyo. They've stayed together while staying away during the pandemic. What have you guys done to, to really just like isolate yourselves and keep healthy? Really isolate ourselves? <laughs> yeah, so we've, uh, we've moved up to the mountains and um, you know been training up at altitude in like a small little town outside of Mojave and uh, <laughs> just really uh, avoiding as many people as possible. We don't even go to the grocery store. We order everything that we need. And <laughs> <laughs> anything, like the only time we're outside is to train, like on the trails far away. And we just try to avoid any outside household contact as much as possible. And that meant leaving their home in Vacaville and losing direct access to their coaches. Instead, coaching is done, say it with me, on Zoom. And they've coached each other to get faster, stay focused, and most of all, stay healthy. We know a couple athletes in our event who, you know, had a, a heck of a time recovering from uh, from COVID, who, who got it early on in the pandemic. Nick and Robin also did what a lot of Americans did during the pandemic, and they built a garage gym, logging way more miles on a treadmill than most of us. Add in a home rower, spinning out the lactic acid on bikes, and taking jabs at pandemic frustrations with some boxing. <laughs> but there's no simulating competition, mentally and physically. So when races resumed in February, Robin and Nick took race logistics to a whole new level. We've had to get a lot more creative with how we plan out our trips. Like, when do we schedule our COVID tests before travel, before racing? You know, how do we make sure we do, you know, all this, um, you know, all the little details that we didn't have before. Like, we can't travel, like, you know, um, two weeks early to a location now, like for, depending on the, the race. So like just the logistics thing is, has required a lot more like just outside the box thinking. And so far it's working. Both Robin and Nick won their national championships in February. And there are a few steps, quite literally, to making the Olympic team. Training the mind as important as training the body in this Olympic cycle. Whatever your goals are, just each day you wake up, that's your day to do it and just do whatever's in your control. What, you know, control the controllables, whatever's in your control, and just make it the best that day. And whatever that is, that's, that. like, be proud of that. Proud of each other, and hopefully proud to represent their country this summer in Tokyo. Now, race walking, not the biggest sport. So <laughs> Robin and Nick are actually leaders behind the scenes in their sport. They help put on a lot of the events that are getting people qualified to go to their trials coming up in the next couple of months. A lot of their officials tend to be older and were very COVID weary. So they've had to work really hard to make sure those judges felt safe.